Everybody uh, got their Thanksgiving stuff ready. Got Thanksgiving next week. Snug up. I actually thought it was this week. It was this week last year. And it got pushed back. So if anybody got, uh, anybody cooked yet already? No, not yet, but getting ready. Food prep. Food prep, you know. Have you cut up your onions and your celery and your bell peppers? No, we still purchasing them. We at the first step. <laughs> we, at, we at the first step. We gotta get the bell peppers and the onions and all that stuff. But I'm gonna do my shopping this go, weekend. Even y'all need to go ahead and do it because you know they're gonna run out. And and uh go to the little grocery store in the hood now. They have everything. <laughs> and uh and make sure y'all get your uh better than bouillon uh chicken stock. It's yeah. come in a little jar. You don't have to buy the bouillon in the little cubes anymore. And it's uh, good, rich. Uh, I, I already made. I made five pans of dressing already. Already done. Oh yes. <laughs> what you making for Thanksgiving? What's? Uh, we're gonna do three different turkeys: a Cajun turkey, a butter turkey, uh-huh. uh, a lemon pepper turkey. Ooh. Uh, the dressing, the the regular macaroni and cheese, the crab macaroni and cheese. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, the macaroni and cheese with the crab claw mm. coming out of it. Uh, right. uh, bone crusher macaroni and cheese. The saute greens with the uh, sweet peppers and uh. onions uh, sauteed or whatever. And chicken and dumplings. Mm. And uh, uh, I got some my friend Kim doing two red velvet cakes. Oof. And uh, I got uh, some, uh, two 7-Up cakes coming. And because uh, I just don't have time to bake. Oh, a seven up cake. Yeah, this this young lady named uh, Gigi Holman that lives lives in Birmingham made the best damn uh, seven up cake I ever had in my life. Mm. Uh, I, I don't even think she worked full time anymore. She just baked cakes. Her cakes are so popular, mm. and she do it right out of her house, and would and deliver those cakes to you. They, they're the best. Uh, but I'm I'm just really excited about you know just Thanksgiving and sitting down and. Uh, you know, the atmosphere, you know, uh, I already got the Christmas decorations up. Uh, have y'all decorated for Christmas yet? Or do y'all have the decorations up? Ricky, I don't have bell pepper. <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I don't have my decorations up yet, but they ready. I know where they at. I'm getting to them soon. Yeah, Usually we, always, we do it after Thanksgiving. Like, yeah, or, Saturday after Thanksgiving. Right, right. Yeah, but some but, but people I'm, do it for Christmas. Yeah, but I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all know what's really cool? What's that? To, to go ahead and put your Christmas decorations up. But then after the meal, you turn them on. You turn the lights yeah. on. Because yeah. that's the change of the season. season. Okay. The minute you start taking up place, you turn on the Christmas lights and start playing, you know, uh, uh, Christmas music, uh, contemporary Christmas music. It don't have to be Christmassy, but not the Temptations yet. yet. <laughs> <laughs> kind of Christmas. That is really the change of the season because, you know, you got uh, Black Friday or, or whatever, at, at everybody run out at 12 o'clock, all the sales start going on. Mm-hmm. And people start having and coming up, you know, or leaving your house, you know, to Christmas decorations, kind of make it magical for your Thanksgiving guests. And uh, But go and get your cussing art a chopper that chop up your onions and your peppers or whatever. You can have all of your That's onions and bell peppers and stuff chopped up yeah. within a matter of 10 minutes, like real talk. All of it. And I, and I chopped up enough onions and bell peppers and celery to feed 40 <laughs> people. Mm. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, I went through. I mean, that thing, that cousin, our thing, chopped that stuff up. It just cook your, uh, cut, uh, cut your cooking time in half. And uh, so I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, anybody doing anything different for Thanksgiving other than the, the, you know, the regular Thanksgiving meal? I'm doing oxtails. Oh, Mm, what, yeah. what, 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 give me the whole menu. So um, I got the hookup on the lemon pepper turkey and the jerk turkey I usually make. So I'm going to have the jerk turkey and the lemon pepper turkey. And then I'm going to do my oxtails and then traditional Thanksgiving sides. In my house, we did like potato salad, yams, greens, yeah. green beans, okay. and a little giblet gravy. So we'll do that. My mom makes the dressing and the mac because that's not my level of expertise. Eva, Eva, you can do it. I can teach you. I can really walk you through that. But you can't mess up mac and cheese. See, that's when you you get people mad at you at Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. You messed up by saying mac and cheese. (laughs) Mac (laughs) and cheese. She already messing up. Already messing up. Already messing up. Let your mama make it. Don't worry about it. You can call it mac and cheese. That's that powder cheese in the box. Absolutely not. I just don't know how to make it right. And if you make it 
wrong, then people will be upset. Yeah, you can't do that now. Yeah. Now, do y'all like y'all like where you can cut it or creamy? I like mine where you can cut it. Yeah, I like, you like the, the, you the like old the Baptist, school way. The Baptist macaroni and cheese, the sanctified yes, macaroni like and the, cheese, uh, like the uh, the full gospel macaroni. Yeah, you got like Baptist macaroni and cheese and full gospel macaroni. And cheese. <laughs> I like both. Well, I don't eat it now. But I'm I like non-denominational. Both. I like it in the middle. <laughs> oh, oh, right, God. like like soft, but not where you can cut it with a knife. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I want it to now, be a loaf. Bone Crusher make the best macaroni and cheese I ever had in my life. Yeah, he do do. A, it's so mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. And guess who he gave the recipe? You. Oh, I got it. Oh, Lord. And I I came home. I heard you raided uh, their house. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, tested I, I tested that damn macaroni and cheese. It was the best. Way better than mine. And I know I make good macaroni and cheese. You make great macaroni The rapper macaroni and Bone cheese. Crusher. <laughs> but I'm going to make you that, though. He does. You, you and- love my macaroni and cheese. But, wait you, wait the, but mm-hmm. put my little twist to his macaroni and cheese. Mm. It's the best I ever had. Mm. And I mm-hmm. dropped some little, sprinkled some crab legs <laughs> off in there. Come on, crab, crab legs. legs. Crab legs. All right, y'all. I got your quick up calls. <laughs> 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 <laughs>